Oh God, we sense that you're here. There's nothing performance about this. There's nothing orchestrated. This is more than a worship moment and encounter room. What if this was a moment where the windows and the doors of heaven opened and an invitation from a living Christ to say, why don't you just come in? The one with eyes like fire, the one with hair as white as wool, the one that has unconditional love, the overcomer of sickness and depression. What if this was more than a, a worship moment found in a, a building in Reading, California, but what if this was a door and a window invited into the Christ? And as He started to pour out, we start to swing wide our gates and lift up your heads. O oh, you gates, and be lifted up, O oh, you ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. O oh, lift up all you gates, O oh, lift up all you doors, and let the King of glory rush in. God, start with me. I open up my gate, God. I open myself up and I say, God, would you pour yourself out? And God, over my family, I oh God, I say, open up my gate. And Luke, would you pour yourself out? And over this nation, God, we open up a gate for the King of glory to rush and pour out. I sense the Lord saying, it's not about leadership development. It's not about just working in yourself and growing. I sense the Lord saying, is it about me? Is it about being with me? Is it about walking into my courts and being with me? Is being with me enough? I sense the Lord saying, would you put me front and center of the stage again? Would you put the presence and me front and center of the stage again? Oh, all you gates, oh, all you doors, and let the King of glory come in. The doors of businesses, the doors of emotions, the doors of brokenness, the doors of your sickness, swing wide, the swing wide. And God, we invite the one whose eyes are like fire. The one whose eyes are like fire. The one whose eyes are like fire. And his hair is white as wool. The one who will consume. 